we're going to look at how to install Steam on Windows 11 today. So if you type in Steam into Google, you will get store.steampower.com at the top. There's a both an ad probably, as well as down here, both lead to the same website. And um, Steam is a popular gaming platform that's been around now for nearly two decades, since 2005. If you click on Welcome to Steam, it will take you straight, straight to the Steam Store. And if you look up at the top of the website, there is an Install Steam green button, which if you click, will take you to this page where you can install Steam. It will suggest what is best for your operating system. So Steam is available on Mac OS X as well, as well as um, Steam devices specifically designed for gaming, a bit like console gaming but for PC games, which is amazing. But we're on Windows, so we're going to click Install Steam, which has been updated for Windows 11. It is a really fast download. If you single click then and click Yes to the user account control, it will take you to the Steam setup. So using Steam, you'll be able to play all of your games on the internet with other players. You'll also be able to get fast access to feature releases, receive game updates, how to faster instant message your friends in while you play, find the best game servers, and you'll find your friends' game, receive Steam on the special offers. So if we click next there, it'll auto detect your language. So it's detected English for us. It's available in other languages. Then you have to choose your destination folder. This isn't necessarily the folder you have to install your games in, but we are going to install uh, the Steam client, which requires about half a gigabyte on our C drive in program files. So once we've done that, we've configured all the options we need. We can click install and that's it. That's how fast it is to install Steam. If you leave run Steam ticked and press finish, it will update the first time it starts that you have got all the latest updates for Steam. And one of the benefits of installing the client is not only easy access to your library to install games to play them, but also any special offers, items on your wish list that are for sale, you can opt in to get notifications on Windows for these. So the initial update is quite hefty. Steam, the Steam client itself is updated at regular intervals, but usually the updates will be much smaller than this. So the first time you download and install, obviously the download file itself is extremely small. So it has to download the rest of the client as well as any additional updates since the install file was packaged. So on a reasonably fast internet connection, it still shouldn't take any more than a couple of minutes. It's got to download 225 megabytes or 225,828 kilobytes um, to put it another way. And once this update has downloaded and installed, you will see the Steam client will start automatically and will take you to the sign-in screen. So if you haven't already signed up for a Steam account, make sure you do that online on the website. Once the download is finished, it will extract the download automatically and install the update. And as soon as that's finished, we will be presented with the Steam client window. The screen will go blank temporarily, and then you'll be presented with this screen where you can create a new account directly from here, or you can create one online. And if you've already signed up to a Steam account and you already have it, don't forget to click in login to an existing account. It'll ask for your account name and password. And if you have got Steam Guard Authenticator, Steam's two-factor authentication installed, you will be prompted for a code from that. So make sure that you have your phone handy. Hope that helps. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment. Don't forget to like the video and we will see you later.